Hello everyone, today I'm gonna be doing this Yakuza game tier list. And my cat decided- Yeah, it's just a tier list, and I guess including the spin-offs as well, are all of the RGG games. And yeah, this is just my opinion. Don't take it to heart. I like what I like, you like what you like. So yeah, I haven't played the original Yakuza 1 and 2. Um, Someday I will, and someday I will put a review on how those games hold up. I'll try to play it in the, play it in the dub, because it's, it's funny, so. Okay. I don't know what the difference between, like, okay, so first off, Judgment. I just beat Judgment and lost Judgment. Uh, Judgment's story... Is good. Is very very good. Um, oh, man, honestly, based off of story, an S tier. But some of the side stuff, like, and combat is okay. But mainly, I have an issue with um, the constant have to chase someone, I have to tail someone, I'm just, oh god, I got so tiring. So because of that, it goes an A, but if that, like, okay, here, if it had Lost Judgment's gameplay and side stuff, S tier, their best game ever. Uh, but anyways, Lost Judgment. It's a good game. The combat is good. The side stuff is good. Um, the mini games, it, it is good. It, it that is the great part. But the story, it it has its issues. I think. I really like Kuwana. He's like the key character that I like in this story, and I like the. Uh, the two sides of justice between Kuwana and Yagami. I like that. Besides that, like, you barely see, like, the crew that you love from the first game. Like, you don't really interact with them. Uh, and that's, that's a downgrade. For me. I, I, I still have to finish all the side stuff and the Kaito DLC. So... I am still working on it, but from a story perspective, it's a B. But the side stuff is good, so it's really hard. Like, I might change this, but I'll put it in B. Yakuza 0 is the perfect game. The sides, the sides, the. The sub-stories, the mini-games, the main story, all the characters, everyone in it is likable, and everyone who is supposed to be hateable is really hateable. Uh, it is, like, the peak Yakuza experience. There's a reason why it's, like, everyone's favorite game. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do... Okay, Yakuza 3. Um, oh boy, <laughs> uh, the, the combat is rough, it, it's, it's an old game, it's an old game, so I give it a pass on that, but, oh my god, the blocking, the constant blocking the enemies do, oh my god, and the stupid, ice cream sub story where you gotta carry the ice cream cones i almost lost it <laughs> i kept dropping them oh my god <laughs> uh, um the story is just okay i mean it would be my least favorite yakuza game but there are charming moments in it so i give it a c 
it's an okay game. But you kind of have to push through the combat. Oh my god. Okay. Yakuza 4. I almost forgot what exactly the um, story was for a second. That's not good. <laughs> because I liked the game. I actually did. But I think the main story is kind of forgettable. Now that I really think about it, because I kind of barely remember this, like, the main story. But it introduces Akiyama. And Akiyama, the best character, like, besides, like, Majima and Kiru, and, in my opinion. Um, he's so interesting. He's not He's not a Yakuza. He's, he's just some guy, basically. Uh, he is my favorite character of four. Um, and Saijima's story is actually pretty interesting, except for that one scene. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, that one Saijima scene. Yeah. And then Tandy Mora. He's kind of forgettable. I mean, there's potential there, but it's just not. If he never comes back, I I don't care. <laughs> being honest that's oh god the thing is i don't think four is a bad game because akiyama's stuff is really good in four it's like it's in between i'll put it i'm gonna change this don't worry yakuza 5 good story it's actually a great story but it's <sighs> It can be very convoluted. Um, there's a lot, like a lot, a lot going on. and But I appreciate it because it does a lot. Like, there's so many characters. There's so many places to go. There's... Uh, the story is just messed up. Um, I actually think uh, Haruka's story is probably the best. I think that's what really makes the game is her story. It's like, it's sad. It's sad. I, I would put... Oh, man. But Saijima's stuff, oh my god, his... I did not like his, like, story in this game. Uh, like, as in, when you go to that section, it's after you fight the bear. And you're in that town. I, as quick as I could, I left. I, I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> um, Shinada, interesting new character. We'll probably never see him again. But it is what it is. That's, it, it's better than four. Yakuza 6. This game is genuinely not good. It's not, it's not good. It's not. <laughs> like, there's like little tidbits of like really cute, funny things. Um, like Onomichi. Um, oh, the, 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 the online uh, like chat room stuff is really funny. Like little stuff like that is good. I think that's six, right? Oh God, am I, am I mixing that up? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Am I mixing, mixing that up with another game? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's bad. It's a bad game. Combat is bad. The story... I don't even know what the story is still. It's just... But the ending is really good. Like... It's really emotional. Because... Spoilers... Kiru has to leave behind Haruka and her baby. Um, because if he sticks around any longer, his family at the orphanage is like, they'll always be in danger. So that was the really nice part about it. And like the letter to Daigo, uh, I really liked. That was like, the, the ending was good. It was very good. The rest of the game is 
just bad. And I could not wait for it to be over. So, but it did make me extremely emotional at the end. Uh, Kiwami 1. Again, I, for both 1 and 2, I never played the original, so I don't uh, have that connection. These are my experiences. But uh, Kiwami 1, the Majima Everywhere system, kind of makes the game for me. The sub stories, I don't even remember any of the sub stories because literally all of them were Kiru gets scammed. Oh, Kiru's stupid and, uh, you know, blah blah blah. I just. The sub stories, no. The main story is okay. Um. This is where you first meet Haruka. Um, it's, it's nice, but. I think, in my opinion, if they could have added a section where you got, get to play Nishiki and experience what he went through when Kiru was in uh, prison, that would have made this game like A tier. Or like, yeah, I would say A tier. Um, and like, yeah, and like, you see flashbacks of what Nishiki went through, but you just are watching it. I would like to experience it. Um, it's, it's a B. Be only because of the Majima everywhere system. That, honestly, that's like A. That is like, it's so good. It is so good. I love that and I want that to come back. Because it's so much fun. Um, Kiwami 2. Oh god. <laughs> I know a lot of people... A lot of people don't like this game. I guess compared to the original. Which, again, I don't, I don't know. Because I didn't experience the original. I loved Kiwami 2. I did. I, I thought the ending was so funny. Uh, it's just, it's like, it's so, it's lovable in like a bad movie kind of way. And I feel like it's purposely like that. That's how I saw it. Uh, like, like a really overly dramatic kind of bad movie. It's like, it's goofy on, like corny and goofy on purpose. Like, if you played the game and you saw like the end parts, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, it <laughs> and the s <laughs> the song that constantly plays. It's so funny. I I know I'm right. They did this on purpose. It, it's like it's supposed to be like that. I believe it. Uh, it's a. I'm not joking. It, it, it's a. Uh, like a dragon. You know, at first I thought. It was an A tier. But then recently, um, like, I only just finished this game. But now I, I still keep thinking, thinking about it. Like, I still keep wanting to go back to play it. Like, the music is so good. The main story is really good. I was... I wanted to know more about the main story the whole time. It was really good. The the Majima and Saijima fight is insane. It's insane. It's really good. You gotta grind that fight, but it's good. Um, and the ending, oh god. it It's sad. It's really sad. Uh, the sub-stories are the sub stories are funny they're good ichiban is extremely lovable uh your companions are lovable except for nanba i'm i'm not a nanba enjoyer i'm sorry at first i was but then i hate when they do this in like games movies whatever where like your friend or whoever like lies to you when they keep things from you because of 
XYZ. It's just like, oh my god. It's been done over and over again. I hate it. Just don't lie. How about that? Jesus Christ. Like, uh, uh, but yeah, like, and I actually love the turn base in this game. It's so interactive and it's fun. Like, I cannot wait for eight. So it, it is an S tier because at first it was an A, but then I'm like, man, I keep thinking about this game. So it's S. And honestly, again, I would put Judgment in S as well. But I can't because of uh, some of the side stories. They're just uh, whatever. <clears throat> uh, I know people are going to... Oh my god, Lost Judgment. I'm sorry. I'm tempted to put Yakuza 5 in A. Oh god. You know what? As convoluted as it is, the idol stuff was really fun, but really, like, depressing. It's... It is a good game that tried to do a different type of story. And the ending, ending is really good. Like, it, it is. I think I feel confident. Yeah. This is it. This is the list. Okay, my cat is... Stop touching the mouse. Stop. You always do this. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching this video. Uh, comment uh, your thoughts on this list. What game is in your top what what Yakuza game is in your top three, top five, whatever. Uh, if you hate this list, I don't know. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.